Hey and welcome back. And in this lesson, we are going to add our baseline and we're going to use the Dr. Octorex loop player for that. So make sure you load your project from the previous lesson. We've got a basic house um, kick drum and some percussion. Let me just play that quickly. So that's basically what we have. And what we can do now is we can just rename this track because currently this first track is just House Kit 03. So you can double click there and I'm just going to call this Drum Loop 1. Okay, you can call it Kick Drum or Percussion or anything you want to. So let's just keep everything nice and tidy and name our channels. So in the browser, we are going to drag in under instruments, we're going to drag in the Dr. Octo Rex loop player. So just drag that in underneath your redrum computer. And that's going to load this Dr. Octo Rex programmer, which is quite an uh, interesting little instrument. It works with little loops that you can cut up into smaller sample pieces. You can also find a lot of these Dr. Octo Rex files online if you search for them. So we're going to load some baseline patches in here and have a listen to them. So to do that, it's going to open up this uh, library automatically, but I usually just go to the factory sounds on the browser. And uh, then we are going to open the Dr. Rex. Uh, let's just see what we have here. Under, there's some synth loops there. Maybe under Dr. Rex instrument loops. I just want to see what we have here bass loops, synth bass. Okay, there's some some interesting ones here. So let's try one of these. I'm going to open up this raw sushi, and then I'm going to take the first one, and I'm just going to drag and drop it into this player, okay? And uh, now what we can do, you can see it's got a little button here that says enable loop playback. And when that's on, it's always going to just play that loop. doesn't matter if there's anything in the sequence here. And that's not always what you want, but I'm going to show you now how to add that. Just let's have a listen and see how it sounds. Okay, that's interesting. Um, I think let's increase our tempo of our song. So right here at the bottom, you, see it, you can see it says 120. That's the current tempo. So I'm going to double click on that 120. And then I'm going to type 130 just to increase the speed a little bit. And I'm going to save. Let's have a listen. Okay, that tempo is definitely a little bit better. And uh, now I'm going to show you how you can add this to your sequence. Okay, because you don't really want this always just to loop because you don't always want to play that instrument loop. So I'm going to disable this little button right there, enable loop playback. So now if I play it, you're just going to hear our drum loop. So I'm going to expand this bottom section of the Dr. Octo Rex programmer. Just click on this little arrow to expand that. And this is where you can see all the cool stuff. It's going to show you all the little samples that it's using to create that loop. And there's so much you can do here. I'm not going to go into too much detail of how this instrument works but it's very very powerful and you can play around with all these settings to see what they do so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to put my song position right at the beginning and then you'll see there's a button here that says copy loop to track okay and if i click this you'll see here in the sequence it's going to copy that loop into my sequence and that's what we want. We don't want it to enable loop playback. We want to add that manually to this uh, sequence. So now if I play this here, you'll be able to hear the bass line. Cool, but it's very loud. So if I put the uh, song position here, there's nothing here next to the uh, Dr. Rex player. You won't hear anything. So it's not looping all over the place. So first of all, let's bring the volume down of this bass line. And the easiest way to do this is let's just use this volume control on our Dr. Octo Rex player. I'm just going to bring that down and I'm going to play it while I'm doing this. Maybe something like that. And now what I want to do is I want to enable the filter on here and just bring down the filter slightly so it's a little bit more bassy and not as 
sharp. Um, so what you can do, you've got all these filters built into the Dr. Oc uh, Octorex player. And I'm going to play this and I'm going to adjust some of these filters. Let's have a look. All right, so what I've done here is I'm still using the low pass filter, the 12. You can play around and see which one you like. And then I just brought down the filter slightly to around 70 or 80. That's the, the filter frequency. And now you can hear it's a little bit more bassy. And some of those percussion sounds are actually coming through quite nice. So you can go around here and you can play with all of these settings and see what they do. We're not really going to go into that right now. And just one more thing I want to show you if you double click on your this little sequence that we copied from this into our sequencer, you can go in here, you can actually see all these samples. So these are the samples that it's using to create this loop. So if I click on these, you can see there's a lot of different samples and that's how it's actually building that loop. And you can go in here and you can go crazy and you can rearrange this any way you want to um, to create your own loops using those samples. Yeah, so you can go uh, through this library and just drag in. You can literally now, while I've got this in here, I can try some other samples. So let's try the Raw Sushi 2. I'm just going to drag that in. And now if I play this, it will have that loop or those. it will use those samples. So you can hear that's slightly different, but it's going to keep all my settings here. You can see it's got my frequency, my filter uh, setting. It actually kept that and it also kept that we are not using that loop. So it's really nice to just kind of go through these and see which ones you like. I'm going to try this wobble bass one as well. Let's drag that in and let's play back the sequence. So yeah, some really, really interesting bass. But I'm going to keep this raw sushi one. I'm going to drag that in again. Let's have a listen. Yeah, I think that's a cool one we're going to go for. And now you can save your project. So you can just go to File and then Save. It's going to save your project. And I will see you in the next lesson.